welcome back to my class again uh, before starting the class i want to have some uh, discussion because basically this is a strategy that i am going to uh, adopt further i will show you some problem a problem and its solution and at the same time i will leave a problem for you so that you can try at home and which will be helpful me to understand people are following and uh, getting interest uh, on my uh, way of teaching and my uh, the problems that i am discussing and at the same time uh, that will help me also to learn the, uh, the different kind of solution for a, sol uh, this a problem that may come from you also and it will be a both way uh, learning so let's start with the problem the today's problem says there is a pyramid whose base is an equilateral triangle <coughs> a b c the vertices of that let me draw it something on the in a tilted fashion let a b c be the triangle a b c and the vertical of the pyramid v from where the slant corners are connected and a vertical is drawn on the plane abc uh, which is meeting at o and it shows the height of the pyramid and a vertical is drawn on ab which will meet at point which will meet at point p and here that op is 7 cm given apart from that the slant diagonals v a is equal to v v is equal to v c is equal to 30 also given as 30 centimeter given now you have to find the value of h h means height of the pyramid now if i consider it on this triangle a b c which is given as equilateral triangle and if i extend this point o b is a perpendicular o is a point from where the p is drawn and if i extend backwards it will meet at c because o p uh, is a point uh, on which the vertical is drawn for this point uh, as because this point is nothing but the point where the vertical or median you can say for the equilateral like both are same in this case vertical are drawn will meet at same point o okay this is due to the symmetry of this figure because this is equilateral triangle and uh, from vertical all the planes which is confining the figure it is also a also are isosceles triangle this means b b c and all these other uh, forming are isosceles triangle so this will meet at same point these are this is the uh, center of gravity of the uh, the a b c triangle and it will meet at point o now one property we know that for equilateral triangle uh, all these vertical are dividing each other in the ratio of 2 is to 1 means bigger the uh, part is two and the smaller is the from uh, the from this center of gravity to the vertices the distance is more so in this case if i take oa is equal to ob is equal to oc it is nothing but uh, two part of op let's say if i uh, consider the uh, first vertical pc so this is two part of o op that means seven in all other cases this this length op if i take it o something q these are all same so uh, considering one only so i can calculate o a is equal to o b is equal to o c is equal to 14 this is now uh, if i consider the triangle this triangle this is a right angle triangle because o p is perpendicular to a b so if i consider o p b from there this triangle is a right angle triangle from from the triangle i can calculate p b p b is nothing but under square under root of ob square minus op square so both i know from there if you calculate i will get it is 7 root 3 you can calculate at home it is very easy uh, this uh, follows the pythagoras formula from where i am calculating pb so pb i have got now consider on the plane this vpa if i consider it and if i draw a perpendicular on that plane this perpendicular of the triangle if i consider the triangle v b a this is not in the same plane as a b c but this is again a triangle and if i consider the same plane i draw the vertical so this v p will uh, this the vertical of this 
triangle VP will meet at P. This is isosceles, isosceles triangle. This is vertical. If I draw the vertical, it will meet at P. So VP is perpendicular to AB and PB the midpoint of AB. Okay. So from the here, if I concentrate this triangle only, this triangle only, the triangle which is a right angle triangle again V V P, we can calculate the required length this V P. So V P will be equal to under root of this length V V square minus your V P square. Okay. And if you easily you can put the values, you will get something like this 753 will be the value I will get for value of Vp. Okay, up to this is okay. Now, further if I go on calculating, now I have considered on that the vertical and your this and this. This triangle again this is a, this is a right angle triangle because this is perpendicular to this, this is the slant head. So, this angle is 90 degree. If we consider the uh, triangle V O P in the plane, this plane. So, this angle V O P is a right angle triangle. This is 90 degree. Is yes, 90 degree. Because V P is perpendicular to, to the plane A B. So, if I connect so this will give a 90 degree. Now, this is a right angle triangle from there H that means the vertical is equal to nothing but the slant height Vp, Vp square minus Op square. So, do, both, do, both of these values are known. So, if I put 753 means Op square is equal to 7 square is 49. So, from here you will get the value of this is equal to 704. So, if I further calculate it will give you something like this one 8 root 11. So, this is the value of uh, this is the height of the pyramid which is uh, to be calculated. This is your answer. Okay. So, let us come to the next part where I told I will give you some problem to try at home. So, you have to find the remainder. The remainder you have to find if I divide 11 to the power 50 into 17 to the power 12 by 6. What will be the remainder for this case? Kindly try at home. If you will not able to answer it, I will definitely save the solution for this. Uh, but at least you try at home and uh, just let me know uh, on the comment box and try to uh, try to follow my videos. Please share it at bigger group because uh, I, I can see the old people are saying there is not spreading much on, on your groups. So, just requesting you so that there are maybe somebody who is waiting for this opportunity to have this in uh, in your academic life. So, kindly follow, do not hesitate to follow and uh, if you like it, kindly put a like, uh, thumbs up in the video and it will boost up my confidence. Thank you very much for now.